hello youtube and today i'm going to show you how to install uh, ssd and on that ssd clean installation of windows 10 which runs uh, emmc 32 gigabytes of memory as you can see i have uh, two drives on these drives uh, there are windows on these drives uh, this is mms memory and this is my ssd disk which has 20 uh, sorry 32 gigabytes but 28 gigabytes are uh, I don't know capacity or something and local disk C uh, which has 29 uh, sorry 32 gigabytes of MMS memory and there uh, win, win, currently Windows are here on on and also here but Windows is actually running uh, off of this drive so uh, without further ado let's go I will I will try to do this uh, vlog style so. Uh, don't mind that. First, what we need to do is to turn off this PC. Yeah, we'll turn off this PC and I, now I will show you uh, uh, SSD and EMMC, sorry, uh, SSD and RAM and everything. So we can upgrade it. You just take some tool and just like this, it will open up. Yeah, but uh, first, first you need to you need to um, pull out all the uh, screws that were that was like right here or something. Yeah. So let's see. As you can see. Uh, we have wait Yeah, this is better we have laptop uh, laptop battery here This is processor RAM and SSD that we upgraded so this is uh, SS, This is my SSD. It is very old 32 gigabytes and Windows are here and Windows are also here on MMS memory uh, and also there is somewhere in there uh, somewhere in there uh, is processor but I don't know where so we will run this uh, Windows uh, we, we have Windows here and here so now what we will try to do is just put Windows here and delete MMSC memory so uh, I mean we won't delete it but we will make uh, for free space on that drive so the Windows will only be here yeah wait I will do this Sorry if I'm doing this vlog style, but I can't uh, find a way to film this uh, any other in another other way. You should uh, you should hear like click clicks everywhere around the yeah around the oops, oops. okay so first what uh, you need to do is to have uh, Windows 10 on your drive and uh, this is this is as you can see take wait I need to focus. Take MS, take MS drive, uh, USB disk, and why this is important, I will show you now. Turn turn on the laptop and just press F2. Just keep pressing it till you see the BIOS. Now, when we enter the BIOS, let's see. So, as you can see, we have uh, two gigabytes of RAM. We have 32 gigabytes of MS memory, and it, the name is as uh, as far as. Uh, one uh, three three one and the processor so now what you need to do is like take your uh, arrow keys and go to main security boot and here you need to do is you need to boot as legacy you probably have uh, you have you probably uh, by default it is UEFI so UEFI it is you need to go to legacy and is it Microsoft recommends executing Windows 8 and the version above under UEFI boot mode to enjoy the full features. You press OK, OK, and 
I already have legacy, so I w I don't need to reboot my uh, uh, PC. So after you after you manage to uh, put on legacy, you just reboot PC and you will uh, see this boot priority orders. So USB HDD, USB FDD, USB CD-ROM, Network Boot, and MMC. Type, uh, sorry, type. Uh, you have F F5 and F6 as uh, as this change values. So you press F5 and F6. So F F5 is a down. So F6 is up. Put MMS in memory last. So you have like this. Yeah. And now, what you need to do, uh, what the, the BIOS will do, because it is legacy. It will boot from USB HDD and then it will boot from MMC memory. So first it will it will boot Windows from here and, and then it will boot Windows from, from MMC memory. But MMC memory will be, let's say, forgotten because you have Windows uh, right here. So uh, let's turn off, sorry, let's take our USB and put it in the uh, USB slot. Yeah, like this. Now let's uh, let's press F10 and let's save configurations by clicking yes. Now <clears throat> now uh, we need to yeah reboot yeah it it is rebooting and now you will see that uh, the you actually we are booting the USB so as you can see we are booting Windows 10 uh, installation process and let's let's wait for a few minutes come on I will just show you the specs one more time so this is pretty bad laptop but it got me through my uh, I don't know high school or something okay we are booting and we boot from yes Windows 10 USB. You just you, you have like English uh, United States and it's it blah blah blah. We'll just uh, wait. I need to put this in creation time and currency creation. Okay, I'm from Croatia. Yeah, keyboard standard. Click next. Click install now. Okay, setup is starting. I will just uh, pause the video now, so and I will resume when it when, when the process continue. Yeah, we can continue, and we're back. So click uh, I accept the license terms, and this is just installation of Windows. Go to custom install Windows only advanced. Oh yeah, now we have like like a lot of drives. So I will not now show. We have drive zero. So wait. I'll try to show you like this. I'll put it on the keyboard. No, 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 no. Like this. So we have drive zero, unallocated space, partition one, which is system. I don't know why. We have partition ESP, 100 megabytes, partition two, and partition three, that's eight, sir, and one gigabyte of recovery. So what we are going to do is this. Take uh, I think that this is the this is the memory for this is MMC memory and click format. Click OK. Now we are going to format MMC memory and delete the primary windows off of, off of it. And this I think this should work. Yeah, it works. So we have this memory Click on this. I don't know why this is unallocated, but click new. As this, uh, I don't know. Press apply, and I think we should just delete this. Okay. Okay. This this didn't work. I don't know why. Okay. No. No. Windows. Can, okay. Okay. This. Uh, we don't need that. I think. Okay. And this is we have reserved. I don't know. So we have uh, Acer, which is sorry. This was my uh, this was my uh, SSD, Pro secondary SSD, and this is primary. You can see that it says Acer. 
click here and click format and this this should delete primary windows so we are now we are deleting primary windows from um, our computer and this should work and it should it should say 28 gigabytes and 28 gigabytes this I think this should work then we can uh, we can uh, I don't know maybe format recovery or even delete it I don't know and we can then install Windows on this drive which is uh, our S SSD It, this is taking so long. Okay, uh, this is taking a bit long. I will just pause. Oh, okay. Yeah. Th yes. We, we can, you can see 28 gigabytes, 27.9 gigabytes. That is primary. System. Okay. Press here and click delete. We can uh, we can see if if we are able to delete it. No, we are not. Okay. Unallocated space. We delete it. Okay. Now uh, let's press. Now, yeah, now uh, we can install Windows on our Acer. Press here and press next. Okay, now we are copying Windows. I will pause here and I will continue uh, after the installation. Uh, as you can see, we're back. So the PC just restarted, and now we should we should be entering the new Windows that we just installed. And oops, sorry. We will wait for a few minutes just to confirm that. Okay, I will pause this again. As you can see, we're now picking the language and the keyboard layout. Mm. Okay, I'll have to use English, United Kingdom, yeah. Skip. And you just continue installing Windows till you get to the uh, welcome screen. I think so, yeah. It shut off and restart it again. Okay, yes, that's good. You have this message on uh, your, I don't know, first, first. Uh, I mean, every boot, but that be that's only because it is booting from uh, MMT first, and then it is booting from SSD. And we don't have a Windows on uh, MMT memory. So we are booting from SSD and we are entering the windows normally as if we don't have uh, MMT memory. I will pause the uh, here again. So, and yeah, this is it. We're getting everything ready for you. So, oh, sorry, uh, we managed to, oh, again. Okay, we managed to install windows. Um, I think this is the we are near the end of the video so if you have any questions just feel free to send me a message or comment so everyone can see uh, I'll, I think I will put a Facebook uh, I mean a link to my Facebook profile so you can easily contact me and I can uh, I can I can maybe Skype with you to if you have any problems with uh, your PC and your uh, <clears throat> installation of MMT memory so we can stay in contact like uh, that and yeah this process uh, only took like 10 or 20 minutes but I, I'm filming like 13 minutes 14 minutes right now okay I, I see that this is getting a little bit longer so I'll pass now yeah we're back we're back and let's see uh, first we need to Okay, let's see uh, what. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, as as you can see, we have two drives. One drive is completely empty, and I think this is the MMS memory. I mean, it it is one hundred percent MMS memory. Right click properties. I think I don't think we can see. Uh, Kingston yeah uh, yeah that's it we have so we have uh, Kingston third you can see here 32 gigabytes 32 G 32 G I think that this is the that MMT memory that we just um, deleted 
and as you can see here oh yes uh, this is pro this is probably nix i mean i think this one is uh, i don't know okay well, but as you, as you can see we have uh, 18 gigabytes free here and here we have 20 gigabytes i will just try one other thing device not wait this is windows 10 oh windows i i, I don't like windows 10 control oh no yeah mm -hmm. yeah devices nope uh, yeah i said device manager that that's that is what I want. So we'll now just see disk. Oh yeah, that this is 32 gigabytes of MMT memory, and this one is our SSD, uh, we, which we have uh, uh, Windows on. Yeah, that's it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video solves your problems with MMT memory. Uh, and yeah. So if you have any questions, uh, just let me know in the comments below or on my Facebook or email or something. And without further ado, good, good luck.